We're gonna get straight into We're gonna get fucked. So we say our state of um Bobstart. They're never this chatty. Still going. Tracks where we So also fear the law of Bob Start run four. The bar is five. The track, the track is clear now for Lubov, Janik. This yeah. may have been a mistake. So, I just we never heard this woman do this much no, talking. No, no, she always does. Right, go. Let's go. Let's go. Never know. Go. Um, yeah, so... <laughs>
and then apply it to the running on ice, the lighter sleds, and it's a little bit more like bobsleigh. Um, so yeah, they, yeah, they were our, our training camps this summer. Beautifully summed up, Taylor. Exactly. Wonderful. I do try my best. So obviously we're in a lot of training camps, that brings us nicely onto yeah. Airbnbs, where Brad makes the choice on these. I think, so, Sam, what, what would you weird. say, I'm sure Brad spreads his fake news, can we have the true story of the quality of Brad's Airbnb? Can, can I just say, can you can't say anything. No, 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 we need to find places that are cost effective. It's ironic actually because a tent. If you remember the bath training camp, Greg, right? yeah. where you and I stayed. The Lego oh, the, house. Yeah, mm. built by the, scaffolding. The scaffolding in, uh, Lego house. Yeah, yeah, the 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 well, I mean, to be fair, I just, you might watch this, so um, thanks. It's comfy. Uh, <laughs> shower was clean. Five stars. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, mirrors on the ceiling, which is always interesting. Yeah. Um, that was interesting. I feel like Brad picks the first place that comes up on Airbnb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So it's I, very hit and miss. Like I he doesn't get a concept of how a website works. No, it's like, oh, yeah. this is the Airbnb. Yeah, no, forget the price, forget what it looks like. What luck, it's in bar. I didn't there. go there for a viewing beforehand. No, but you yeah. can just look at the photos. <laughs> yeah, I think your comment about the first one will track nicely for the audience. I think everyone will draw their own conclusions <laughs> on that. But there's been a couple of good ones. We did have, on the way back from uh, Frankfurt, we had a rooftop bar. Like, oh, yes, yeah, we did have a very, very nice one. Cologne. Oh, Cologne? Oh, the, the, the roof, that night. was in the attic. Yeah, when you and I were in that dungeon. Yeah, that was... <laughs> Dungeon's a common thing. Is that what you put into your keywords? Though? Yeah, of course. You'd have a good Airbnb on the way out to Frankfurt as well. Yeah. But I thought you were staying in that one, though, weren't you? Yeah, of course. Oh, well, yeah. that's why it was nice. So yeah, yeah, you could yeah. probably track the quality of Airbnb when low. Brad's present. Well, I'm going, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll loosen the purse strings for when I need something for my bamboo pillow. <laughs> well, it gives you <laughs> some nice... Story. So, I mean, Airbnbs aside, we did make it uh, to our push championships, push championships uh, in Oberhof, which went pretty well. Um, Nicolas, will you take us through it? Will you tell, us, tell the people behind how well you did? Um, yeah, I didn't do too bad. Um, it was obviously it was our second, uh, I did beat Greg as much as it few racing, but I'm just a big fat lump of lard. On heavy and He's a, a, he didn't push a former right. elite sprinter that I did beat him. No, we had um, we had one push test in Bath, which was uh, like an in-house British bobsleigh thing, and then we had another one out in Oberhof, which is a bit more specific, uh, as I said before, on ice with a, a lighter yeah. trolley, which is a lot more relatable than the 140 uh, kilo lump of steel that we have in Bath. Uh, but no, it was a very good day. Um, we had uh, two pushes each. The trolley was a lot lighter, so it was a lot more specific. Um, we only done two pushes each uh, because we are aiming for certain spots on the sled. Uh, so there's no point doing things that we're probably not gonna end up being able to be selected for. Uh, so within that, uh, the numbers were absolutely fantastic. Uh, PBs all around. Um, I mean, it was my first time there testing. Um, Still did very well. Um, yeah, we didn't slip. So no, no one slipped over. Um, <laughs> excellent. And it was also, I mean, likewise, we had such a nightmare, as everyone at home who tuned in for vlog one would know. Um, we had a nightmare of injuries last year, so I think the idea was also not to push on too many handles or do too much that we're not going to need to do if you're not going for those spots. Keep everyone fit and healthy. I actually thought it was over for I wanted more pushes. Of then we all wanted you'd more You would have had about, about 16. No, I, see, this is the fake music is put around now at me. I wanted the two. I wanted the two that you'd get in World Cup. Hate it. Um, now uh, we're going to move even further out of Sam's scope, sadly, because Sam has been working from a, a, a massive uh, Achilles tendon rupture injury, which he's now back from, thankfully, in the team. But sadly, so he missed out on the China um, situation, China. which oh, the China test event, which is should have been done in March, which is normally done for an Olympic test event. You need to test the track, uh, make sure it's safe, to let the pilot learn it, all this sort of thing. They test the facility in, in the race at the end of the year. Obviously, because of the COVID situation, we couldn't do that, so we went um, pre-season in October, which is a bit unusual, but, uh, but a really good, rewarding trip to China for three weeks. Um, food. Take people through it. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, like, I mean, but before the food, the struggle was even getting out there. Yeah. Countless, uh, countless PCR tests. <laughs> having to fill in all sorts of health declaration documents. I mean, oh, yeah, mine, then even getting to the airport, we were stood around in Frankfurt Airport for the best part of what three hours. So standing around in the airport for about three hours uh, to finally board the flight, and I'll leave oh, yeah. the boys to the take food. you through the food that was on the flight that was um, questionable for a nine-hour flight. A or ten-hour sweet flight. corn sausage. Yeah. Uh, was back. it an egg yolk? No, 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 no it, it was, was a full soy egg. A full egg with like soy sauce infused into it. Again, I thought it, I thought that was chocolate jelly. No, no, no. Oh, oh, right. That was an egg poop. <laughs> well, beats that. One of, the, one of the Italian coaches told me it was a um, cow's testicle. So I was like, ah. Oh. Did he eat it? No. I was going to say, it was like a yolk in it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <well>. <laughs> But no, you also had two big loaves of 
pretty much loaves of bread. Oh, an enormous bowl that was so cold and dense. Some milk. Get anything in it. Some milk. Some milk. Some milk. Packet which looked like some tasty. There's a picture on it which looks like some tasty beef jerky in it. So you oh, get it and you're like, yes. oh, this is going to be amazing. Cat food. You open it up. Open the next one, and then it looks like cat food covering covered in jelly. Yes. Yeah. It smells like it too. But yes. Tasted like it too. Yeah. yeah. Did yeah. I eat it? We did yes. it. Yes. 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 No, off the plane, and then so go, the COVID test. Yeah. Yeah. Getting, reasonable getting, COVID test. Getting, getting through the too. airport was an interesting experience. Okay. Probably the worst COVID tests I think we've all had yeah. in our lives. Very deep. straight in the nose, pretty much to the back of. Back of the skull. I remember when she, when she was putting it in, I could feel it at the back of my throat. I'm like, you're at the back of my throat now, and then it kept bending in the back of my throat. I was like, ah! Then, <laughs> then she'd leave it for about. Go take it out of your mouth. And then yeah. give it a little, a little twist. Then leave it, yeah. and then go. Yeah, yeah, like like an artist, but yeah, like, yeah. Uh, just like a sadistic one. Yes. Yeah, through the airport so into the coach, which was sealed with a security stick off, so no one could get out. And it can be tampered with. Then we had a police escort all the way to the airport. Uh, I airport. About this. This police, police escort all the way to the hotels. Straight yeah. into the hotel, straight into your hotel room to wait for your result of your COVID test before you could even move. That was just getting there. That was the first day. <laughs> and then we, had, <laughs> and and then then we, we had got locked into our room when we had a COVID test and we were given about oh, yeah, yeah. six loaves of bread and a ah, little yeah. of milk. Yeah. So that was our lunch yeah. that day. I oh, know it's the little brioche thing. The little brioche thing. Yeah, 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 banana bread, right? But banana. I was, wish it was um, banana bread. No, I swear it had banana flavor, it was banana flavor bread. No, I think it was just in a yellow packet. Yeah, that was a yellow. That was there, so it was it was an interesting experience. And then that was before we even got on the track. So, um, which would please to say, Brad picked up very quickly, did very well. Um, and this is what we're all there for. We're basically the sandbags in the back, getting uh, getting beaten up um, on the way down, which is always good fun. Um, but it's all worth it for the end. Um, we ended it with a medal, got a silver medal out of it. So, yeah, which really. is means very little at this stage. It's just very <laughs> encouraging, very exciting. It means that we're pushing well, you're driving well, the kit's running well. Most importantly. And those are the three things you need to do well in Bobsled. So and money. And money. We need money. <laughs> give us money. <laughs> give us money, <laughs> TGB. We need money now. We are not being paid Do you have any money that you've got left at home? Then you give it to us. <laughs> Put it in an envelope and give it to us. We need your money now. It's like cash for gold. <laughs> cash for Bob. All of that has wound along to you know, a successful summer. I'm talking. True, sir. <laughs> So obviously all of that has, has, has taken us through a really successful summer and, and led us to the point now where we did well at China, we did well in the test event and we're hopeful for Beijing. Tell us about your hopes, hopeful for World Cup. I'm hopeful, hopeful, we, hopeful we get there. Yeah? Yeah, I'm hoping for some better food on the plane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, we'll be British Airways flight. In terms of World Cup, I think yeah. we're, we're hopeful for a good first race, hopefully some medals leading up just to uh, get the warm and fuzzy the yeah. whole season and then yeah, hopefully finish off with some uh, World Cup medals and Olympic medals. So fingers yeah. crossed. Definitely. Like we just want to build momentum. Like the past couple of years of this team has been such a challenge. Like the guys have had to come back from ridiculous injuries. Um, you know, and uh, like the big Sam, obviously you're now back. It's it's pretty extraordinary. Um, from an Achilles standing rupture, which is crazy. Um, Nick with his hamstring problem last year. Everything basically for the reason that there were nobody around last year. We're now all back together, um, and it's uh, yeah, a really exciting time to be a pop set. Are you looking much? Very much looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> looking very much. I am very looking. Feel. Much. <laughs> I am very yeah. feel. Yeah. I, feel, yeah. I, feel yeah. I feel feel. Good luck, chaps. Yes, thank you very much, thanks sir. For, uh, thanks for being here today. Job. Appreciate it. Well, Appreciate it. Don't shake my hand too hard. Um, what you don't know is Brad crashed us yesterday, so we're all a bit fragile. Yeah, I'll tell yeah, you yeah. I missed you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> um, little victory roll. We'll see you for vlog three, which may come sometime in 2024. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs>